Hi guys, it's Ruth from Be Balanced and this is the second in my series of Take One Ingredient. Basically looking at one ingredient that you can include into your diet and lifestyle which is going to help and impact on your health. I've had lots of questions from people about how they can incorporate new ideas into their diet and lifestyle and here's a tip today and it's basically around the ingredient turmeric. Turmeric looks like this an orangey yellow powder that has actually been used in India for an awful long time, not just in food, but also as a, as a medicinal herb. And uh, I was, was recommended it recently when I was doing my Ayurvedic cleanse. Um, it's very, very uh, medicinal in that it offers antioxidants. It's a powerful anti-inflammatory. It's also a powerful painkiller. And some people say that it can actually rival um, the drugs that you would get from the doctor. So it's certainly worth inclusion. It actually comes in the form of a root. I'm just gonna snap this open so you can see. So it's similar to ginger, which is what I did last week. Um, turmeric is a smaller root and it's bright orange, if you can see it in there. It snaps very easily. I got this um, from Glastonbury the other day, actually, and it's, it's organic, um, the best one to use. You can use it just like this. You can chop it up and put it in some lemon water like I showed you last time with the lemon and ginger. You can add turmeric to that and a little bit of sea salt. That gives a great drink in the morning for detoxing. Um, but it's actually better for, the active ingredient in turmeric is curcumin. And that's what gives it this, this fabulous color. And curcumin is not so easily absorbed unless it has something called piperine, apparently, which is in black pepper. So quite often you'll see in recipes, um, particularly savoury recipes, that turmeric goes very well with black pepper. Um, I've got some other ideas to show you here in terms of what to do with it in your diet. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard um, the term golden latte or golden milk. And I've got one here, which I just prepared a few minutes ago, so it's really frothy on top. They're selling them in most coffee shops now, um, but they differ greatly. Some people actually add coffee. I can't do coffee. I would never put coffee in anything because it feels like I'm having a heart attack, so I don't use it at all. But some people put coffee and turmeric in the same drink. My partner had it the other day and thought it was hideous, but actually turmeric on its own in a glass of warm milk, and I'm using almond milk here. Um, in fact, mine is from a company called Tarka, and it's called Golden Latte. It's got turmeric with coconut, ginger, and spices in, and it makes the most amazing drink. Um, I've added a little squidge of turmeric, coconut nectar to the top because it can be a little bit bitter turmeric, I find. In savoury dishes, it tends to get absorbed and it gives it an amazing colour. But if you're going to use it in something sweet, it may need um, a little sweetener added, say, say in a smoothie or something. If you've got banana with it or um, any sort of fruit, it will give it that little bit of sweetness because on its own, it can be quite bitter. So that is a golden milk. As I say, the powder which you can use in all sorts of savoury dishes. Looks like this, you can buy it in a supermarket in a pack. Um, that's how it comes, or in the little spice packs that you see, the little round spice packs. I'm having curry for my tea tonight, actually. This is left over from yesterday, um, but I just wanted to show you the colour. So again, this has got turmeric in it. It's a vegetable curry with some fabulous black rice. See that black rice? Um, and it just gives it the most amazing colour. And at the same time, you know you're getting lots of goodness. It's really good for digestion because it be it being anti-inflammatory. I certainly take it for that a lot. Um, it stimulates bile, it relieves gas because it's quite calming on the system whilst being warming at the same time. And I wanted to show you an amazing thing which I have covered in one of my Facebook videos before. And this is a wonderful, I don't know if you can see that, wonderful orange paste. My friend and personal trainer, Oksana, gave me a recipe for this, which I think came from her grandmother. And I'm just gonna tell you quickly what it is now, and I can put it in the comments below if you want to make it yourselves. This is used for um, anything, really, from sore throats to colds, to digestive issues, to anti-inflammatory um, problems such as arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, or any inflammation that's going on in your body. And I'm just, I've got the recipe written down, so excuse me for looking away from the camera, but I'm just gonna tell you exactly what's in here. There's two tablespoons of ginger, two of turmeric powder, one tablespoon of cayenne pepper, two tablespoons of raw honey. Make sure you get some really good honey like manuka or proper raw honey is the best, not the processed stuff. 
one and a half lemons squeezed into that and then three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and it's really fiery it's really going to fire up your system it's a great paste don't take it like that it'll blow your head off put it into a little bit of hot water and just drink it you can either down it in one and have something ready um, or just take it in hot water as a long drink it's really nice um, and also what else did I want to tell you oh yes Pucker Herbs, who I, I do plug quite a lot because I love the fact that they're Ayurvedic uh, and really into healthy products. They do a turmeric tea, which if you don't happen to have any in the house, I mean, you can make your own turmeric tea, but this is called Turmeric Gold and it's turmeric, lemon and green tea. So that's amazing. Um, is there anything else I need to tell you about turmeric other than it would be really worthy of including, including in your diet? I don't think so, but um, yeah, try making a golden milk. Try including it in your curries, in your stews, you get such a lovely colour. You can even put it into sweet smoothies and you again you'll get that lovely colour. Or try one in a coffee shop and have a golden milk there. And definitely have a look at including this fabulous winter remedy. I can't remember what Oksana called it, but for winter, if you're coming down with something and you take some of this for a couple of days, it's really going to boost your whole system. So I've been Ruth from Be Balanced and this has been Take One Ingredient. Today we were looking at turmeric and I hope it's given you some ideas of how to include it into your diet. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.